Hey, how's it going YouTube? J2H back here for my final collection video of 2020. Uh, I'm going to preface this video by saying I have an awful head cold, so I um, I will be uh, congested sounding, and I will be taking time to breathe out of my mouth because my nose is congested. But we're checking a look at TV series today. My TV series on DVD, 4K, Blu-ray. Um, one of the shelves, like I said, in all the other collection videos, this is one of them that I've put more time into this year than uh, than some of the others. Um, in there, if you were, if you follow the video long enough, I did a family video closing haul, and I actually got one of the banners from the family video. So that is the TV series, you know, one disc for five nights or three dollars for each season. So that's where that banner came from, and I thought it where else to hang it but then the above the TV show collection, which is in the bedroom here. So let's show off here so like I said um, the first shelf here is really the seasons um, everything else is in order except for these couple simply because these are usually too big for these shelves so we have the everybody loves Raymond I actually rewatched the series this year um, everybody loves Raymond uh, complete series seasons one I'm sitting on the floor there you go one through nine with the signed script um, love this series uh, King of Queens, which is actually the first one to go after I film this video because I may have upgraded this. So the King of Queens, uh, the second release, not the Mill Creek one, but the Sony one, but not the IPS bus one. The complete series of Parks and Rec, which needs a Blu-ray release very badly, especially after uh, one of the updates, or upgrades I already purchased, which I'll show later. Stranger Things, oh geez, hold on, that's going to bug me. There we go. Stranger Things 1 and 2. I'm not sure why those are backwards. These are way too tall for the Blu-ray shelves right here, and even though they're 4K. So we got three DVD sets and two 4K sets. That makes sense, right? But Stranger Things 1 and 2, both on 4K. Those aren't new. They've just been moved. And then we get down to the second shelf. Um, let's see. we got the Beavis and Butthead Complete Series. Uh, I am missing Seasons 4 and now 5 of Better Call Saul. So I'm behind on Better Call Saul. Though I believe... I'm going to upgrade that one straight to Blu-ray. I don't think I'll ever actually get 4 and 5. I'm hoping for a complete series Blu-ray release. Bob's Burgers, the only official um, non-MOD release of the first season there. There's all eight seasons that are released on DVD, but they're MOD and they're stupid expensive. So for now, I've just kept that one. Uh, I don't plan on buying more. Complete series of Duck Dynasty. All the Family Guys. So you got Volume 1 through Volume... 12 and then season 12 through season 17 and I was heartbroken they didn't release season 18 on DVD this year um, It just seems to be the way of physical media man. So uh, Physical media comma man not physical media man shout out um, But I, I look forward every year to getting a season of family guy on DVD and marathoning it between Christmas and New Year's in this year I think I might just have to fire up Hulu because there is no official season 18 DVD uh as of recording this, which is insane because Family Guy was brought back on air because of DVD sales. So it's just kind of a bummer. Um, Freaks and Geeks through Trauma, nothing new there. Grown for Life, I Met Your Mother, Practical Jokers, which again, nothing official after season five as far as DVD releases. The Jeff Foxworthy Show, all 13 seasons of King of the Hill. One Tree Hill Season 1, this is The Wife's, um, and I just haven't gotten around to buy her more seasons. Uh, that, that one's just on my part. There's no official reason why I don't have more than one season of that. The Complete Series of Roseanne, although it says Complete Series, now it's missing Season 10, which I'd love for them to release on physical. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, The Complete Series. The Simpsons, Seasons 1 through 10, and then 11 through 20. So all 20 that are physically released, again, it's kind of heartbroken they didn't release starting with season 21 this year, but like I said, that that's the way of physical media, you know, you can't change it, uh, unfortunately. Young Sheldon I am behind on, so I have seasons 1 and 2, both brand new factory sealed. I need season 3. Um, I went on a rant when I did my Black Friday haul about why I haven't owned season 3 yet. I will link that up. I think it's up there, but it might be up there. But I'll put a link to that. Actually, I'm, I'm wrong. It's up here. But I'll put a link to that, just that little snippet, because um, I will be getting season three, but at a certain point. So that's the this first section I call the DVD shelves, because this is all the TV shows on DVD, with the exception of the two Stranger Things. But I digress. Let's go up here. 
So now we're looking at the Blu-rays. These are old shelves, so ignore this. We have the 30 Rock, the Complete Series, which I still haven't reviewed. A review for that is coming at some point. Uh, the Complete Series of 30 Rock on 4K, uh, Blu-ray, sorry, not on 4K, from Mill Creek. All 11, no, 12. All 12 seasons of The Big Bang Theory. The third season release being the Target exclusive with four discs. Um, I'd like to get more of those, though. I don't know if they were ever produced. And then next, the complete series of Breaking Bad. I need to get my hands on El Camino. Um, Community, the complete series, The Family Guy, Blu-ray Trilogy, Friday Night Lights. So, and then you got Game of Thrones. So starting here, you have Game of Thrones, the complete series one season. I'm sorry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and they all, after they start releasing bonus discs, all the corresponding bonus discs are released... Are, are right after. So I have the season two, three, four, five, six, seven bonus disc, season eight bonus disc, and then the complete series on 4K Ultra HD. Uh, simply because the 4K set doesn't come with the corresponding Blu rays. And actually, I think seasons two and three, two, three, and four actually come with the DVDs too. So I have DVD, Blu ray, 4K, all of Game of Thrones, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. This is new to the collection this year. Um, also, we have the complete series of Gotham here, seasons 1 through 5. Got a hell of a deal on this this year. Um, if you recall, this was on sale for like $25 at Best Buy, like all five seasons for $25. Not $25 season, $25 total. So, I looked out there. And then the bottom shelf, whoop, so that's the, the shelves aren't long, which is why they're kind of like, you know, not very much stuff. Well, I say that, but there's probably enough for like, I'd say 20 regular Blu-ray cases, but the problem with these Blu-ray seasons is there's so many discs and so many cases, but so you have Happy Endings, the complete series, The Masters of Sex, the complete series, three of the four released Netflix TV shows on Blu-ray, I really need Luke Cage season one, and I'll have all four of the ones that released, and these are in chronological order, so Daredevil 1, Jessica Jones 1, Daredevil 2, The Mindy Project, the complete series, again, these three being Mill Creek releases. Uh, and then we have the complete series of Once Upon a Time. I am finally finished upgrading Once Upon a Time uh, for the wife. So we have down here one through five on Blu-ray. And I think all seasons except one are actually sealed for. All seasons except one, yeah. So I think season two is the only one that's not sealed. All brand new, or oh, not all brand new. All with slip covers, which was a point of pride for me. I needed to get those with slips, even though she could care less. Season 6 and Season 7. My favorite thing I upgraded this entire year, uh, maybe not for the entire, for everything, but definitely for this series, or for this collection, is the complete series of The Office. Rick and Morty, Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4. The Simpsons, the only season I own on Blu-ray. I'd love to own all of the seasons on Blu-ray. I think they released 13 through 17 and 20 all on Blu-ray. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. And then down here, we have the complete series of that 70s show, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, both Mill Creek, although this one I actually purchased, this one was sent by Mill Creek, Watchmen, the limited TV show, and then all three seasons on, uh, on all three seasons of Westworld on 4K, uh, which is just a fantastic show, and I love that it's released on 4K. So I think there's only three shows that are available on 4K that I own, uh, Westworld, Game of Thrones, and Stranger Things. And we get down to these next two shelves, which is, so I'm trying to fill, there's our hall of blankets there, so we kind of stuff them back there, but as you can see, it mid-change there. This uh, friend set is huge, but I, I have two extra shelves, so I kind of lay it sideways. It's the complete series of Friends on Blu-ray, which I got for $0 from that awesome haul back in August, mid-July. Um, yeah, maybe I'll link to that video too, because that haul was awesome, doesn't get enough love on the channel. So the complete series of Friends, which I have to rewatch. I've only ever seen the DVDs way back when, uh, before I, my wife and I were even married. And then down here to the final shelf, if you can see, uh, I don't want to get too close because then you won't be able to see the whole shelf. There you go. Don't mind the blankets and the little king bags. So you have the first 100 episodes of SpongeBob, the second 100 episodes of SpongeBob, both gifts from my wife, even though she hates SpongeBob. And then right here, I would need season 10 of ooh. Out of focus. I would need season 10 of Spongebob. I don't have it yet. The complete 11th season, which was sent to me by Paramount. 
the complete series of Cat Dog, the complete series of Hey Arnold, the complete series of Godzilla, the animated series, which I loved as a kid. And then we have, let's see if I can get you back in there, the Jackie Chan, the, oh, that's another Mill Creek one. What's it called? Demon Portal Saga. Sorry about my hands. And Demon Portal Saga. And then the only two seasons released of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. So you got season one with the Cartoon Network Collection logo and season two. So I heard this show's coming to HBO Max and I could not be more excited. So I really need season 10 of SpongeBob and then I'm hoping to Paramount hooks me up with season 12. So I would have all 12. Because essentially this is seasons, I think, one through five. And this is 5 through 10, even though it's over 100 episodes. I think it's actually like 106. So, that is the really tiny corner. I actually call this, like, I think I call it the kid corner, because it's all the stuff I watched as a child. And stuff I'm very excited to watch with my child. So, there you go, guys. That's the, the Blu-ray shelves. So, I'll give you a rundown of those. So, they're each 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 shelves. And I appear to be running out of room, but that friend series takes up a ton of room. That'll just go up over here with Stranger Things if and when I start to upgrade, and I already have something to upgrade coming in the mail probably Monday uh, to put right on the Blu-ray shelf. You can tell how old that is. It used to be TNA DVDs way back in the day. But So yeah, guys, that's the TV show on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K collection. Let me know what you thought on, you know, if I'm missing. Obviously, of course, I'm missing some stuff like One Tree Hill, the rest of the season of the Bob's Burgers, The Better Call Saul. Well, let me know if there's a TV show you recommend. I know one of them I'm starting that I haven't collected yet. It's Always Sunny on Philadelphia. I'm going to start watching that one hopefully soon. Uh, a big one that I collect actually digitally, I don't own physically, uh, is Modern Family. Same with Archer. I own those both digitally. But yeah, any TV shows you like, any of these sets that you love or have a different set or haven't upgraded, you know, if you own King Queens on Blu-ray or if you own Stranger Things, well, Stranger Things, Freaks and Geeks, I'm jealous of anyone who owns that on Blu-ray, you know, let me know. Anything you'd like to upgrade or have different casings of. I know the family guys have different casings. How I Met Your Mother, Grounder for Life. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my social medias in the description. The podcast that goes Mr. Crazy Joe. My eBay where I, you know, sell and fund the collection. Blu-ray where I keep track of the collection. Blu-ray.com, I mean. Uh, TV Time and Letterbox where I write and review all the TV shows and movies I watch. And my Twitter and Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Go ahead and show that notification bell some love. And also check out this additional video, which should be kind of catered to your needs. And also this additional playlist featuring the item you just viewed. And go ahead and subscribe to show that love. Thank you.